Welcome to Thought for May the 11th. Our readings are Deuteronomy chapter 28, Song of Solomon chapter 8, and Acts chapter 25 and 26. And our thought is, these blessings shall come. Deuteronomy chapter 28 starts, And if you faithfully obey the voice of the Lord your God, be careful to do all his commandments. These blessings shall come upon you. Verses 1 and 2. It is very sad that the succeeding generations failed to be careful to do this. So God's blessings ceased and later curses came upon them instead. Read verse 15 onwards. In Acts we have been reading how Paul first preached Christ to the Jews, but there was great opposition from many of them, so God said, as he quoted to King Agrippa in today's reading, I will send you far away to the Gentiles. Acts 22 verse 21. Now Paul has meaningful things to say about this when he wrote to the Romans. The failure of the Jews to accept Christ means riches for the Gentiles. Chapter 11 verse 12. Paul describes the Gentiles as being grafted into God's olive tree to replace some of the branches that were broken off, verse 17. But then Paul warns these Gentile branches that they have been grafted in and are receiving God's blessings to stand in awe, for if God did not spare the natural branches, neither will he spare you, verses 20 and 21. We could not but think as we read the Deuteronomy chapter that some of the warnings against natural Israel about what would happen if they let God down can now be applied in the 21st century to the largely faithless Christian nations. For example, from heaven dust shall come down upon you until you are destroyed. Verse 24. The Lord will strike you with confusion of mind. Verse 28. Because you did not serve the Lord your God with joyfulness and gladness of heart, because of the abundance of things, therefore, in verse 47. Many nations, like Israel of old, have experienced abundance. But what kind of joyfulness and gladness has resulted? Peter quoted David in the Psalms, and the experiences among the first generation of believers was a fulfillment of this. You have made known to me the paths of life, you will make me full of gladness with your presence. Acts 2 verse 28 Let us live so that all the blessings we read of today come upon us. Our knowledge and belief in the truth of God's word can give us a foretaste now, but what wonderful future blessings are promised. While knowledge and belief are an essential foundation, prayerful godly living is needed to complete the character of Christ being formed in us. Let us make sure we are doing this day by day. Thank you once again for joining us for Thought for the Day, where together we can open up the pages of God's Word, remembering that it is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. Mm-hmm.